The Musée de la Révolution Française Museum of the French Revolution is a departmental museum in the French town of Vizille, 15 km miles south of Grenoble on the route Napoléon. It is the only museum in the world dedicated to the French Revolution. Its exhibits include Jean-Baptiste Wicker's The French Republic, the first known representation of the French Republic, and William James Grant's La Cocarde, The Cockade, representing Josephine de Beauharnais with her daughter Hortense. The museum was opened on the 13th of July 1984, the bicentennial of the Revolution, in the presence of Louis Mermes, president of the National Assembly of France. It is housed in the Château de Vizille, which has a long history of artistic conservation and is home to a documentation center on the French Revolutionary period. The museum also organizes international symposiums about the French Revolution. Topic Castle history Located 15 km south of Grenoble on the route Napoléon, the Château de Vizille is the former home of the Dukes of Lestiguerres. The founder of the dynasty, François de Bon de Lestiguerres, completed his castle in 1619. King Louis XIII, who made him Constable of France, visited it on 3 December 1622. In 1716, the building was transferred to the Dukes of Villeroy. The Perrier family owned it from 5 June 1780 to 23 December 1895. The castle was the summer residence of the Presidents of the French Republic from 1924 to 1972. France ceded the castle and its domain to the General Council of Azir, which was entrusted with giving it a prestigious cultural role, in 1973. On 21 July 1788, during the presidency of the Count of Morgus, the Assembly of Vizille met in the castle's Jus de Palme room after the 7 June day of the tiles in Grenoble. Pope Pius VI spent a night in the castle at the invitation of owner Claude Perrier on 5 July 1799, and Napoleon stopped there during his return from the island of Elba on 7 March 1815. Used as a factory, the castle experienced a fire in the night of 9–10 November 1825 which spreads to part of the city. In 1828, Adolphe Perrier son of owner Augustin Perrier and grandson of Claude married Natalie de Lafayette, daughter of Georges Washington de Lafayette and granddaughter of the Marquis de Lafayette in the castle. Absent from the ceremony, the Marquis de Lafayette was a guest on 19 August 1829 during a visit with Natalie. Adolphe Perrier, after the death of his father in December 1833, continued restoring the castle. In 1862, after Adolphe's bankruptcy, the Académie des Beaux-Arts classified the castle as a monument historique and Henry Fontenilliot stepfather of Auguste Casimir Perrier became the new owner. Two years later, Henri Fontenilliot died, his daughter, Camille Auguste's wife, inherited the castle. The lessons of the 1825 fire were not learned. On 17 February 1865, a second fire destroyed an L shaped wing containing the Jus de Palme room and a battle gallery built in 1615 by Lestiguerres. They were never rebuilt. Activity in the castle's printing factory halted. Auguste Casimir Perrier and his wife, Camille, received Philippe d'Orléans in 1872 and Adolphe Thiers in 1874. For the centenary of the Assembly of Vizille on 21 July 1888, President Sadi Carnot dedicated a Statue of Liberty also called Marianne in front of the castle. Sculpted by Henri Ding, its pedestal is engraved with sentences from the Assembly and the names of representatives of the province of Dauphiné. Two months after France purchased the castle, La Dépêche Dauphinois mentioned the possibility of a museum. The newspaper mentioned it again on 6 March 1932, specifying a museum of the French Revolution. With the opening that summer of the nearby Napoleon Road, a room was devoted to the history of the castle. After the 1981 election of François Mitterrand, the 2 March 1982 decentralization law permitted a museum dedicated to the French Revolution far from Paris. At its 10 June 1983 meeting, the General Council of Azir created a museum of the French Revolution in the castle of Vizille. Two people contributed to the museum's founding, departmental archives of Azir director Vital Chomel and historian Robert Chagny, curator of its first temporary exhibition. Others who participated in the collection of the first works were Jacqueline Mangelas and Alain Chevalier since 1988. 
The first rooms of the museum were set up at the beginning of 1984, and its first director from 1984 to 1996 was art historian Philippe Bordes. The museum was dedicated on 13 July 1984 in the presence of the President of the National Assembly, two ministers, and President of its Scientific and Technical Council Michel Vivell. In November 1987, work began on the Hall of Columns later called the Republic Room two large staircases ascending from the current entrance, and elevator access to all levels of the museum. Two new halls were dedicated on 21 July 1988, but financing difficulties delayed the completion of 600 square metres 6 square feet of the Hall of Columns. When it opened in March 1992, the museum contained 20 rooms on five levels. Since 2010, the site of the former Jeu de Palm Hall removed in 1865 is indicated by a hedge to the right of the museum entrance. Collections The museum's themes, in addition to the Revolution, are contemporary movements such as Lumières and Romanticism. It features works of art and historical objects from, before and after the Revolutionary Era. The museum is an historical museum based on works of art. These works, more than historical illustrations, are keys to a better understanding of the upheavals and historical context. The paintings and sculptures of the Revolutionary Era span a variety of styles and genres. The paintings are allegories, historical events, portraits, ancient or tragic scenes, and landscapes. Of the statues, several busts are faithful representations of Antoine Barnave, Bailly, Mirabeau, Louis XVII, Robespierre, Danton and his wife Antoinette, and General Lafayette. Statues in a variety of materials include Madame Roland, Saint Just, and Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Decorative arts illustrate everyday life, furniture, porcelain, and French, English and Dutch faience. Unique objects are stones from the Bastille, swords from the National Guard, and musical instruments. Drawings, prints, and fragile works fans, miniatures, and printed fabrics are protected from light and presented in temporary exhibitions. 19th century works include two paintings by Lucien Etienne Malang, La Maiton du Ten Thermidor and II, The Morning of Ten Thermidor Year II, 1877, and Jean Paul Merritt, 1879, which demonstrate the power of references to the movement which led to the French First Republic in the context of their time. Alexander Dibel, curator of the Museum of Grenoble, painted the Assembly of Notables in Vizel, 1788, also known as the Assembly of the Three Orders of the Dauphiné, in 1853, illustrating the Assembly of Vizel. The painting is on the museum third floor, facing the staircase. About 60 Dauphine notables are depicted in the painting, and a sketch underneath helps visitors locate them. They include lawyer and future mayor of Grenoble Antoine Barnave standing on the platform, his colleague Monier sitting behind the table, with the Count of Morgus presiding, and holding a sheet in his hand and Charles Renaldin on the left, future representative in the Chamber of Representatives and future mayor of Grenoble. A bronze statue of Jean-Paul Merritt, made in 2013 by the Barthélemy Art Foundry, replaced Jean Baffier's 1883 version. The sculpture, on the museum's forecourt, was dedicated on 16 July 2013. Baffier's statue was purchased by the city of Paris and installed in several public parks the Parc Montsoris, the gardens of the Carnavalet Museum and the Parc des Buttes Chaumont before it was melted down during the Second World War. The stone pedestal supporting the statue contains a quote from Merritt's newspaper, L'Ami du Pupil. Library The Albert Sobul Library and Documentation Center provides researchers and students with an important resource of often rare documentation of the art and history of the French Revolution. Created in June 1982 shortly before the museum opened, it has occupied two levels of the museum's north wing since 2001. In addition to busts and paintings of Revolutionary Era figures, it contains documentation of various aspects of the French Revolution, including its artistic and cultural impacts. The 27,000 title collection, including 20,000 in history, 3,000 in art history and 4,000 works published between 1750 and 1810, is largely made up of legacies and donations from libraries of French Revolution historians. 
Acquisitions continued to be made worldwide, and a reserve of 4,500 prints dating to before 1805 is kept at a constant temperature and protected from light. The library was named in June 2005 for historian Albert Soboul, the foremost French authority on the Revolutionary Era who bequeathed his collection of books on the Revolution to the museum before his death in 1982. The library was expanded with the libraries of historians Jacques Godeschaux, Jean-René Serrato and Roger Barney, which were donated by their families. Visited by researchers from around the world, the library is part of the Bibliothèque Municipale de Grenoble network. Temporary exhibits 2017-2018, François de Bon, Duke of Lestiguerres French, La Splendor de Lestiguerres 2018, The Misfortunes of Louis XVII French, Ers et Malheurs de Louis XVII, Eret sur Images Gallery <laughs> <laughs>